Well, these are the scenes we witnessed here in Newcastle. Police say as many as 2,000 supporters of the English Defence League, or EDL, marching through the centre of this city, chanting anti-Muslim slogans. But this is a far-right extremist group which says it's fighting against what it believes to be a rise of Islamic fundamentalism in Britain. So, of course, the killing of that British soldier, Lee Rigby, in southeast London has really fired up emotions here. Why have you come out here today? To protest against what our country's come to. It's terrible, right? Muslim gangs, grooming, grooming gangs, Muslim grooming gangs, grooming little girls, right? killing our soldiers, seeing they hate this country. Our country has welcomed them in, right? And they're doing this to us, right? We're peace-loving people, right? And that's all we want. But I tell you what, we don't need this because they're going to be raping and killing. That's what they're going to be doing. And we've had enough. Well, we saw one minor demonstration with protesters who had come out to protest against the EDL rally. Uh, police say as many as 400 people attended an anti-EDL march in the city, but there were no major incidents reported between the two gr groups. As you can see there, um, takes place against a backdrop of an upsurge of attacks against Muslims across the country. One organisation, Faith Matters, which works to reduce extremism, says it has recorded at least 160 incidents of anti-Muslim violence, ranging from verbal assaults to the firebombing of a, of a mosque since that attack took place. That's many, many more than usual. The concern is, of course, that groups like the English Defence League, seen as only having tiny support in Britain, may now be capitalising on the tragic events of recent days. Matthew Chance, CNN, Newcastle.